once these relationships were repaired, the next step was my father. And we worked through that and had some really good time to build new guidelines for our relationship, really like starting over and prioritizing health at the forefront of all of it. Why did you do it? Why did I? Why did you stop Jonas Brothers? Why did you call that meeting, go in and say, Jonas Brothers is no more? It was a few things. I think it was a frustration with lack of evolution within the group. I think creatively we were sort of stalled, probably because our emotional relationship was stalled. And we were just hitting a lot of walls. And during that same time, I was feeling like there was this music within me, this creative voice within me that I, I felt really needed to be heard. And it was different from what we were doing. And I felt, you know, we've been really honest with each other in this last year. So I can say this, but frustrations with each other and where our priorities were mm-hmm. and, and insecurities that were louder than uh, our voices on stage. It was really challenging. And I became kind of numb at a certain point and the only way to get to the place I wanted to get to, which was the the freedom to share my music, to share my story, and also branch out into acting and other things, was to just rip that Band-Aid. And I, I fully did not expect it to be as emotional reaction as it was, which then made me question if I had made the right choice. But, you know, I sort of dove right into the water instead of tipping my toe in there first and seeing what the temperature was. I just <laughs> dove in, and I chalk it up to immaturity and a lack of emotional maturity to, to understand that we've all put so much into this. This was our foundation for our lives and our livelihood. Our identity was tied to it. For me to selfishly assume that they would just get that is really naive. So were you just not being empathetic with them or are you saying you shouldn't have done it or you should have done it a different way? Should have done it a different way. I knew it was the right thing. It needed to, to happen. That's the funny part. Like, it definitely needed to. And I recently thanked Nick. I was like, you're the one that had the balls to do it, you know? Um, I wish it happened differently, but it was time. One of the biggest insecurities in my life is that I feel like at different points, I've tied a lie to my identity, which I know to be a lie, and that is that I can be cold and sort of shut off emotionally. And in this chapter of my life specifically, I did go numb. I did go a little cold but it was because I didn't know how to process some of the frustrations I had, and instead it came out, it was sharp. So if if I had a chance to go back in time and do it again, I would have sat down privately with the brothers and said, we need to talk about some things. And if we talk for three, four hours, and we can't come to a solve that we're all comfortable with, then we know what the answer is. It's time to close this chapter. But giving them a chance to give some input and to bring a different perspective would have been the fair thing to do. 